What's up, everybody? I'm Laurel, and welcome to Laurel's Moon and this bitch. Join me as I read you your motherfucking lives, baby. Thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, commented, subscribed to my channel. You already know I appreciate each and every single one of you motherfuckers. Yes, I do, baby. And if you need to get a personal reading from me, make sure you hit that description box down below. Check out my website, LaRoseMoon.com, for any other magical purposes and deviation workings and things of that nature. So, spirit, you are welcome in to this reading. You must sage the cards for all of my gods. All right, babies. You see the title. Love and motherfucking money in this bitch. When I was doing the uh, overall energies for the weekend earlier today, I was getting that um, the ten of pentacles and like damn near every single spread. And I was also getting, um, what was that? The, I was getting a whole bunch of love cards, you know what I'm saying? Straight like that. So, hold on y'all, I gotta blow some smoke. Ah, uh, oh. <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> so we're gonna find out any of the challenges that's coming up in the next week and what to expect and the best outcomes. So while you're here, make sure you hit that motherfucking like button, baby. And make sure that you guys hit that subscribe button as well. So, Let's go ahead and jump right into this motherfucking shit, baby. We're going to find out about this money first. Find out about these finances. I do have your life's purpose cards here. So we're going to find out in the next week or so. The challenges of money and love. What to expect in money. And what to expect in love. And then we'll also see the best outcomes. And make sure you check out my four questions for $25 over the weekend down in the description box down below, baby. So, let's go ahead and jump into this shit. We're going to start out with money. Damn, that was one of the tarot card boxes. Okay, so here we go. We're going to start out with the finances. And then we're going to go from love. So give me the overall energies that they need to know about in their finances, in their life's purpose. We have energy healing. Your natural energy healing abilities are an important part of your life's purpose. Okay, so y'all know what energy is. Energy is time. Energy is patience. Energy is learning and grow all at the same time. I feel some of you guys might be analyzing some chakras. You might be unlocking some chakras in this motherfucker. This could be jobs. This could be new ideas. But definitely a lot of energy that is being put to healing. So some of you guys could be healing your bodies as well too. When it comes down to your money, you need to take a rest, take a break when you need to in this motherfucker. So you can be the best you can. Motherfucking be. I know it sounds so damn cliche, but it is what it is. In order for you to be um, rich, okay, and health is definitely saying that you're still trying to live up in this motherfucker. So a lot of you guys are trying to help other people live. Your purpose could be to help others utilize their time and their energy the way that they're supposed to manage. So, we also have family here. 
loving your friends and family is essential to your life's purpose. So some of you guys are trying to get that motherfucking money for your family, for your legacy, for whatever you're getting ready to start or create. Okay, finalize, adjust in this motherfucker. Family is going to be very important. This could be trust funds. This could be what you're leaving behind, okay? Because I do see Angel in this motherfucker trying to cross those motherfucking bridges. Okay, when you get there, I feel like you can't do that shit when you think about family. So a lot of you guys are planning long term. You got infinite abundance. I'm going to stop it right there. You also have crystals. So you're fully supported. As you devote yourself to your divine life purpose. Y'all know what that means. Whatever makes you happy, okay? Whether that means, um, you know, creating a passion for yourself. Being able to utilize a lot of the things deep within, within you that comes the fuck out. We have your connection to crystals and gemstones as a channel for your healing energy as well. So... A lot of you guys might be channeling yourself with gold, minerals. There might be something within family. I feel uh, that you're helping heal other people, okay? And this is what causes infinite abundance. This is that butterfly effect. So, let's jump right into this shit. Give me the challenges in the next week. Give me their financial challenges in the next week. We have the nine of cups here and the full. Okay, so I'm already seeing in finances or in money, this could be making quick decisions. This also could be having to start the fuck over with this full energy here. But with the nine of cups, this could be your wish fulfillment, but not it not being fulfilled for a lot of you guys. So I feel you're having to work or start the fuck over. With the Nine of Cups in reverse, it does indicate that some of you guys haven't made things come into alignment like you're wanting or like you're trying to draw to yourself. It's definitely the challenge. This also could be that some of you guys are devising a plan with this Hermit energy here. This is wisdom, okay? But I also feel like it could be research as well too, whatever the challenges are. This could be closing yourself off as well. Uh, needing a, a peace of mind to gather your thoughts is what could be the challenge for some of you guys. It might be so quiet that you feel you don't have enough to like challenge yourself. Okay. Or if for some of you all, this could be having, like I said, having to start over and be by yourself or be alone is a challenge. But I, but I feel like some of you guys are going to get a lot of nuts. Okay. And grab it by the motherfucking balls. And really pinpoint, analyze things. You have the nine of wands here. So I do see a lot of challenges um, that could keep you defeated. But other than that, it could be emotional as well too. But as far as your challenges, I, I feel like a lot of you guys know how to overcome those things. Or um, it's definitely, it could be transportation as well. Because I did just see the chariot energy. But I do feel like the challenge is trying to build up your circumstance. Okay, so let's see what to expect. What to expect in the next week and their finances and their money. This also could be at a work situation. I'm going to take it. We have the emperor in reverse and the moon. So I'm getting that some of you guys want to take some control or there could be some sort of um, control here uh, that I feel... It could be like whatever you're expecting, you're wanting to see the truth of it all. But with the Wheel of Fortune here, you have to give it some time is what you should be expecting. I do see a lot of you guys uh, might be facing adversity when it comes down to owning your own business or trying to keep your empire on top of things. Okay, with the Emperor and the Wheel of Fortune here. I feel destiny's on your side though. Okay, so I'm also seeing there could be some endings, a lot of toxicity that you're going to have to leave behind. If you notice, his ship is coming in, baby. So he could be ready to get the fuck on. But I feel with the Ten of Swords energy here, there could be an ending for a lot of you guys. 
um, that shows you what you need to like boost the fuck up. Nine of cup energy here, three of cups. So I do feel like there could be a third party situation where some of you guys are going to see that major abundance or there could be adding extras um, into the equation to help. But I feel there's going to be some truth that has to be revealed first with the seven of swords or needing to make some sort of plan. But I do see a lot of abundance with this empress and emperor energy here. Okay, so some of you guys could be combining things between you and a partner. Let's find out the best outcomes. Here we go. The best outcomes. We have the king of swords. So putting their foot down, laying the law down. Could be some mental challenges, but I see that you're bouncing the fuck back. Okay, could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius that's in your energy. I'm also seeing with the knight of pentacles here, there could be something that uh, you felt was not within your reach. Or there could have been a job or something that was at a distance. I feel some of you guys are going to take that mission with this Knight of Pentacles. It could be a Virgo and Taurus or a Capricorn. But I'm also seeing some movement that's happening here. If you've been dealing with clients or other people, I see that it's going to come in slowly but surely. But at the same time, they're going to show you a lot of loyalty. You have the star energy here. Um, but I definitely get that there's some sort of renewal that's getting ready to come up. You have the Aquarian energy here with the star so, give me one more card. We have the six of wands in this bitch. So, best outcomes, you're going to see a lot of success. Okay, this could be something that's transpiring online, especially if there was a lot of imbalances or influx. I do see that uh, for some of you guys, if someone was taking sides, um there's going to be a change of somebody taking your side. If you were the underdog, I definitely feel a lot of you guys are making things happen. You're improvising with what's going along or what's happening with the plan and knowing how to be flexible and quick witted. Now, I do see that some of you guys might be avoiding a lot of different uh, people or different struggles that could be in the way. But I see a lot of success happening here. Now, there could be communication happening as well too. facts faxes um text messages things of that nature okay so a lot of success a lot of infinite abundance but a lot of truth that could be coming out about what you need to figure out in your resources or just all together in um that will help you better your business okay but i do see that there could be somebody who's taking your side or some accolades that somebody is definitely getting ready to receive or achieve all right so if you've been wanting, waiting for a position, it's coming It's coming up. If you've been uh, wanting to take the lead, it's definitely coming up with the six of one energy here within this next week, okay? Or this is going to help you graduate and elevate to taking the lead. So let's see what's going down in love. In the next week, we have express your love. Go ahead and make that romantic gesture. Okay, so express yourself. Get some touch and hugging. At a good time, calling in your soulmate and reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning and you got new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Oh, snap. Somebody is trying to get that snap back, baby. Uh oh. <laughs> Let's see what's popping. I'm going to get my after tarot for this love session, baby. Let's see what's up in love. We're going to find out the challenges, what to expect, and the best outcomes. I'm going to shuffle this deck one more time. Here we go. So let's see. What's going down? Because somebody's getting ready to express their love or there's somebody new coming in or there is a reconnection that you're getting ready to try to see if this motherfucker is going to work with your baby. All right. So we have the seven of cups here. Some of you guys are having a lot of choices, decisions. Okay. I do see in the challenges, this could be someone who's manipulated someone or someone that you don't trust with this magician energy here. I feel the challenge could be that somebody is trying to... Um, to me, it looks like this motherfucker might be trying to utilize all their little power or all their little manipulation tricks. Um, I do get that um, some of you guys are waiting for 
this person to be real, to be fucking honest. Okay, that's the challenge. Or if you're going to fall for their trickery or they fuckery or if you the motherfucker tricking their ass. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, magician energy here. Somebody could be overutilizing their power is the challenge. Or someone that is definitely always tricking people. Okay, or you just don't trust the motherfucker. Somebody who's juggling too much is a challenge in love. You also have the Knight of Cups. Could be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But I'm getting Gemini, Virgo. And also Aries here. So um, two different energies is what I'm picking up as far as the challenge. This could be this person's romance or just their action altogether. I've seen a lot of dualities coming out in the cards. But with this Knight of um, Wands, also Knight of Cups here, I see somebody wants to either make that role. They need this person to be a little bit more romantic, show them that they're loving them, showing them that, that they're, you know, wanting them in their energy. Okay, bringing that vibe. Shit, motherfuckers get boring and shit. So I do feel like with this Knight of Wands here, some of you guys might be dealing with somebody who could be a foreign or a far away. All right, could be the challenge. Also could be somebody who's not really wanting to reveal their emotions. Let's see um, what to expect. I feel like this person definitely draws a lot of um, actions before they really think them through or speak them to you. Let's see what to expect, though. We have the temperance energy, so I do see a lot of balance. Could be a Sagittarian energy here. There's also three of cups as well. So I do feel um, there could be some family and friends that are wanting to include themselves. This also could be a balance of how somebody's wanting to make the situation work. Um, but definitely Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy here. This also could be somebody who who drinks a lot or just emotionally they don't know how to be uh they don't know how to celebrate their partner okay you have the empress energy here i do feel like there could be some pregnancies or some sort of um it's like somebody's ready to be open with this empress okay somebody could be getting pregnant but i feel like you should be expecting a lot of comfort or things that are comfortable to you with this empress energy here you have the devil in reverse and the world. So some old situation that you had to spy on with the Leo Sagittarius Aries also could be a Capricorn. I'm also getting Gemini Libra Aquarius energy. This could be in there, some moon arising. But I feel you're no longer having to spy or watch. But somebody is uh, watching your outcome, watching your situation. This could be family or friends or somebody that they dated once before or someone that you dated once before. Because I do see a lot of old residual energy here. Is what I still see, but I see you're moving away from that slowly but surely. Seven of pentacles here. So you're taking a lot of the dead weight and keeping it pushing. Two of swords as well. So you might have been in two minds about the situation. Or someone could have been putting up some sort of fight. But I feel you're getting ready to start over here, okay, with this fool. This is an initiator to start things over. Or this could be an initiation between two different people. Let's see the best outcome. Here we go. The best outcome in love next week. Okay, three of pentacles. Somebody's willing to work together, but they feel like somebody's energy is already cold hearted. Okay, but I do see somebody who's willing to work the situation or this could be a work environment. That some of y'all might be dealing with in love, okay? It could be intertwined, but I do see the three of pentacles. Somebody's willing to work, put in the work, put in the progress. Four of wand energy here and also seven of swords. So I feel somebody's planning to make some love moves towards you. But at the same time, it's just very light, okay? Now, I do have the six of wands here. So a lot of success coming up in the next week or so. You could be receiving some good news. But I do see some of you guys could be missing someone or feel stuck in a situation where you're like, damn, what do I do? You know, but six of wands energy here. Don't be trying to give people too much of your energy or, um, you know, trying to get them day roses when they really just work doo doo. OK, <laughs> but I do see a lot of love coming off of the cards. This is partnership and working together in the success. Some of you guys may have had to defeat off some other people or slay some dragons and shit. But I'm also getting that for a lot of you guys with this Ten of Wands. You're going to keep it pushing. Okay. I do see um, best outcomes. Some of you guys might have to fight off a situation. 
But you already know the truth, okay? Especially if somebody's not on top of their shit with this emperor energy here in reverse. So some of you guys are on top of your shit. Your person could be, you know, failing, whatever the case may be. It's a lot of dualities as far as love. But I do see as far as outcomes, you have a lot of messages or text messages flowing through or words that are being communicated. This could be somebody that's at a distance or things that might be at a distance between you and your partner, but definitely a partnership that's meant to start a new obligation of communication, okay? So a lot of partnership being built. I do see a lot of love coming off of the cards, but a lot of truths being unveiled in love for sure, all right? But partnerships being built, soulmate energy that's coming together. I love it, you guys. All right, babies, let me know if you enjoyed this series. Make sure you check out my four questions for $25 down in the description box down below and i will see you guys in the next video peace